Welcome to Tea Time, where I talk about something I care about under 5 minutes. The joke is never under 5 minutes. So, Battlefield is live and kicking, believe it or not. So, a couple of days ago, an IGN website released an interview with Vince Zampella, who is a big boy at EA, and he's responsible for the next Battlefield game. So, when it comes to Battlefield, Battlefield's not been doing great for the last couple of years. Not even a couple of five, seven years at this point, if you ask me. And hearing the right things at this moment is very encouraging, because... It just gives you that feeling that, hey, maybe we're back. Maybe they finally understood what made Balfi great, you know, in the first place. So there was an interview with Wins and Pella, and he basically shared the concept art for the next game. And he just said that Balfi is going back, back to basics. We'll keep it simple. It's going to be more than setting, 64 players, back to classes, you know, not specialist, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be simple Balfi game. And I love hearing that. He even hinted the CT is coming back for the next year. You know, the, the way they phrase it, com community program, or whatever you want to call it. That's what they're f calling it. Basically, CT. And what they're hinting is, basically, we might be getting CT back before the new game releases, which is quite unheard of, because CT always been, like, after the game's launch, and CT being before game's launch will be quite game-changing, and I love, I hope that's the case. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, they shared the concept art, they talked about the game and all that kind of stuff, and there was an investor's call yesterday, literally investor's call. Everything they said in that investor's call was literally for the investors. Everything they said was just like buzzwords non-stop about the next Battlefield game. Like, this is what we can do, and so on, Battlefield is great, and we have 250 million people. Anyway, it's just investor's call, it's not important. And people analyze it way too fucking hard because it's, it's not important. What they say in investor's calls, it doesn't matter. You have to read everything between the lines. But anyway, they talked about the next Battlefield game, and I'll let me tell you. I'm excited. I'm actually really shit excited. Like I said, back to basics. 64 players, classes, more than setting, and the way they talked about map level, you know, map design and all that kind of stuff. They, they want to keep it compact and everything. Of course, my biggest fear from that, as I was reading that interview, it sounds like the maps could be too small, like, oper like in, you don't want to play 10 Operation Metros, you know what I mean? So hopefully that's not the case, but they did say they want to encourage players to use the vehicles, jets, and helicopters, and boats, apparently boat-to-boat bo -boat combat is coming back, so that's gonna be interesting. So hopefully it's not gonna be just 10 Metros, or what the case may be, so I hope the maps are not too small. But everything he said in that interview, Vince Zappella said the right things. Valve has not been doing great for the last 5, 7 years, or if not 10. And it's just exciting to hear that someone understands what the next Battlefield is supposed to be. Just like, just keep it simple. And I like that. Battlefield always been a very simple game, if you think about it. Sure, it had some advanced mechanics or whatever, you know, complex stuff in once in a while. But at the end of the day, it's a very simple concept. You know, two teams fighting for objectives, and that's kind of it. Of course, that's not it. Um, like at the yesterday's investors call, Byron Beatty, who's the one of the creators, one of the main people that created Call of Duty Warzone, is working at EA right now, and he's working at Ripple Effect, and they're making a new experience, which is basically a battle royale. And from according to the leaks, it is a battle royale game. And of course, like everyone else in the Battlefield community, a couple of years ago, I said. Who the fuck needs a battle, you know, a battle royale? Battlefield doesn't need a battle royale. Why Battlefield needs a battle royale? We don't need it. We just need a good Battlefield game. But after thinking it for a while, and, you know, observing how the gaming industry is evolving or devolving, depending, depends on how you look at it, having a battle royale in Battlefield is not a bad idea, honestly. And just recently, if you listen to Battlefield 1 podcast, the podcast I host about Battlefield, we recently had a former developer on it, and we talked about Battle Royale, and he said, basically, I'm kind of surprised that Battlefield still don't have a Battle Royale to this day, and in a sense, I kind of agree. Battlefield, like, originally we hated the idea of Battlefield having a Battle Royale, but now I'm thinking about, it, like, we kind of need it, just because we need competition in that space. The only competition we have right now, why, it's Apex and... Uh, Warzone and Fortnite, but they're all so different. Uh, Warzone is its own thing, Fortnite is its own thing, and Apex is its uh, own thing. Like, they're not similar, which is nice, but at the same time, you kind of need competition for Warzone, for example, if we kind of want to go to that modern setting Battle Royale. 
and Battlefield is the only one that can compete with Call of Duty Battle Royale. That's that's the only company, the only studio, the only franchise that could do it. There's no one else out there. So just the idea that Battlefield is making their own Battle Royale, even though it's not official, not officially announced. I'm kind. Of, I kind of want to know what's you know how's that gonna be. I'm kind of excited to see how that's gonna work out. You know, and from all these presentations that happened in the next, in the last couple of days, I just want to say this. I'm kind of I'm kind of impressed how everything is moving forward. Mostly because if and people haven't paid attention, or maybe they don't really care, but Dice is not in charge of Battlefield anymore. Dice is not in charge. Like for the last, well, every Battlefield game except Hardline, I guess. Dice was always been in charge. Dice always t said what's the next Battlefield gonna be and how it's gonna work. This time around, we have apparently four studios working on this game, and the main people that leading how the next game is gonna look and how it's gonna play and all that kind of stuff is Byron Beatty, the Warzone creator. And Vince Zampella, who made great games. You know, you can look up his resume. He's responsible for a lot of different games that are probably your favorites. And these two people are the lead people when it comes to Battlefield. So, whatever Battlefield game they're making, it's going to be their vision. And is I'm really interested in what kind of vision they have for this game. So, it's not DICE. DICE is, resp yeah, DICE is making the multiplayer for the next Battlefield game. That's already officially announced. And Motif is making the single player game the, the biggest story about the single player. I think I don't think the single player is going to be that good just because there's a lot of drama behind. You sh Again, you should listen to Battlefield One podcast where I talk about the single player, and you'll understand what I mean by that. And Criterion is making um, just content for for the game. It was a fourth studio, I forgot. Oh, Ripple Effect, of course, making Battle Royale. Well, Battle Royale. Um, yeah. So Dice is not in charge of the Battlefield franchise, and. It's just because of that I'm kind of excited. Just because it's going to be someone else's vision about the franchise. You know, I understand that D DICE is the granddaddy, you know, of Battlefield franchise. But when you think about it, the DICE hasn't been providing... I don't think DICE even understand what makes Battlefield Battlefield. And just this outside perspective, like Byron Beatty and Vince Zampella coming in and guiding the franchise forward... I think that's what Battlefield needed all along, just to go back on track, just to remind DICE, like, listen, this is what you're good at, keep doing that, and if you need help with something else, we'll help. And that's what Byron Beatty and Vince Zappella are doing, they're guiding the franchise forward, and that's, I think that's more important news to me than like, oh, 64 players are back, modern setting is back, classes are back, you know, that's fine, that's, you kind of expected that for the next game, you would imagine even DICE would realize, like, hey, we need to go back to the basics, even I would imagine they, DICE would realize, but that's not the point, the bigger news is that DICE doesn't have control anymore over the Battlefield franchise, it's these two people are guiding the franchise, and because of that, I think the Battlefield franchise for the next couple of years will be big, I have a feeling it will go, it will go big, and it's exciting. It's exciting to see a different, what's the word I'm looking for? Hierarchy, you know, handling the fran franchise, you know. I'm excited to see where it's gonna go, you know. And Byron Beatty is the group general manager for the Balfour franchise, which, which basically says he's the main guy. He's, this is his vision. This is his attempt to bring Balfour franchise back to its glory. And because of that, I'm really excited. And this is the same guy that made Call of Duty Warzone. You know, the original Warzone. And Call of Duty original Warzone was fantastic. And I'm excited to see what they're actually cooking in the background and how it is. It's just, let's see what happens, you know. Battlefield has the resources and the brand strength and whatever you want to call it. To be an amazing first person sh first person shooter, so I'm really excited. Anyway, that's all I want to talk about. I like, I'll, I'll, of course, you should listen to Battlefield One podcast on Spotify, iTunes, and so on. You should listen to that and just listen to our thoughts because I'll, I'm excited. I can't believe it, but everything he said, Vince Zappella said in that interview for IGN, he said the right things. He said the right things. 
and the way Byron BD is handling this whole franchise moving forward, I love that. That's just... It feels like we actually have order, some sort of. Some sort of organization. It, it's not people just mishmashing to get us something and see how it works, you know. I'm excited. And I'm excited for the CTE coming back. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. That's all I want to talk about. And like I said, uh, under 5 minutes, it's 10 minutes. So, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.